Hey guys, Dynasty Warrior 6 here with a video response to Retro Gamer Vlog Contest video of 500 subs. Congratulations, dude. That's amazing. It's always incredible when you hit these milestones, you know. It's just a great feeling and you appreciate everything. I totally understand the feeling. And congrats, dude. It's awesome. You always have such great pickups. I like your videos. I especially like your you know, showing how you kind of go out there, you're hunting, you're looking, you talk about like how you go about your finds, like what you're looking for and kind of, you know, stuff like that. I love your videos, so I, and it's great. So definitely guys, I'm going to leave a link in the bottom, check him out, sub him if you haven't subbed him yet. Check out his channel, check out his videos, he's got a lot of great material, a lot of great pickups, a lot of great stuff. So his question though was, for, the, for your video response, was... What is your favorite? What is your rarest game, and what is your fav versus your favorite game? Well, I'll start off with the first part. What is my rarest game? My rarest game in my collection, and it took me a while to find it because it was there was a toss up between three of them, but this guy tops it just by sheer money value in a sense. It's, there was two close ones though, but my rarest game by far is a box Super Nintendo game. It is Street Fighter Alpha 2. Um, it's a great game. It plays okay. I played it a few times with my brother Daniel who's a big Street Fighter nut and he he likes it. He says it's a little interesting. Uh, it does come complete. I got the box. I got the cardboard. I got the manual. I got the whole kit and caboodle. I am missing the dust cover but I can get a dust cover anywhere and you know slap that bad boy on that and then I will really complete it. Um, this game cost me, I bought it in a bundle, and it, it only cost me maybe roughly 10, 20 bucks to pick up, and it's worth about $70, complete in box, so you have to have a complete in box for it to really hit that value mark. It's, you know, it can go, it can go, it can fluctuate, though, I've seen it go 60 or to 70, so it's in that range area. Um, a definite honorable mention, though, my other, my other valuable games are Pink Panther, Pinkadelic Pursuit on PlayStation, which is about 50 to 60, and the last one is on Sega, and it's Shining Force 2, and then those are about 50 and 60 each, and that one, they're both complete, like, they're, they're not missing anything in a box, but this guy is my top dog, he is my rare, he's my rare boy. In my entire collection. He's the rarest of them all. Though I got some good little $30 games too, but wham. But this is not my favorite game, uh, far from it. <laughs> uh, my favorite game, as, well, as a lot of people are well known to know, that I always say, and it will always be, is this bad boy, Final Fantasy IX. This one's my first ever one. It's got tons of cracks from me stepping on it by accident, or like when I was a little kid, you know, a lot younger. Um, I just love Final Fantasy IX. Uh, I cannot say enough about Final Fantasy IX, why I love Final Fantasy IX. Son of a beast thing. Uh, why I love them. Like, why I like playing Final Fantasy IX. Why, you know, the music, the graphics, the characters. Uh, you know, Zidane, Zidane or Zidane, however you want to say it. Garnett, Armoreth, Vivi, Steiner, Quina, Freya, uh, Eco. And I think that's all of them. Might be one more. I can't remember off the, oh, all of them off that way. But this game was just freaking phenomenally good. I I I remember playing it and picking it up and buying it, and I thought, well, you know, I wasn't too big in RPGs back in back in the day. But this guy, holy cow, he just blew me away. Like I liked Vandal Hearts, and that was actually my favorite game before this came out. Vandal Hearts was one of my favorite games. It still is one of my top favorite games. But when I played this. Damn, I was sold and done. Final Fantasy IX, though, is by far one of my favorite games. And the music is just breathtaking, guys. If you ever just listen to, like, the soundtracks, like, this thing had, like, uh, I want to buy it one day. It's on eBay. Like, four or five soundtracks. The music is just amazingly beautiful. I love the music in Final Fantasy IX. It just brings me back to everything great about PlayStation. Just everything. So, that's it, guys. I, this is my rarest game. Of all, I've had a, lot, a couple offers from guys outside of the community of YouTube, and a couple and a couple guys have offered me 
for this game in the past before. The guy who sold it to me almost sold it to another guy because this other guy was really pestering him about this one particular game because he wanted it, but thankfully he held on to it for me and I got it. So, rare, the uh, most valuable rare game and my favorite game. So, congratulations, Retro. Awesome channel, great stuff. I keep it up. I hope you hit another 500, you know, another 500 to make it a thousand subs. You know, you're, you're a great guy. Really informed, very intelligent, great stuff, dude. Congratulations. Big shout out to him, guys. Check out his channel and have a great week.